14 Cancer Causing Food According to Science You will be surprised. It is a well-established fact that the foods we consume can have a significant impact on our risk of developing cancer. Despite this, many people are still unaware of the link between food and cancer. The World Cancer Research Fund and the American Institute for Cancer Research are two of the world's largest organizations dedicated to researching the impact of lifestyle, including diet, on cancer risk. These organizations estimate that genetic predisposition is only responsible for 5-10% to of cancer cases, while poor diet, overweight and obesity, and a lack of physical activity are responsible for 3-8 to eight times more cancers. The impact of environmental factors on the development of cancer has been confirmed by migrant studies and observations in Asian countries. In these countries, the incidence of cancer is rising too quickly to be solely attributed to genetic changes, leading scientists to conclude that environmental factors, including diet, play a significant role. For example, the incidence of breast and colorectal cancer increased threefold in the second generation of Japanese immigrants to the US. This increase is believed to be associated with the adoption of the American lifestyle, including eating habits, other studies have shown that the growing popularity of the Western lifestyle in Asian countries is leading to an increase in the incidence of breast and prostate cancer. Here is a list of the most carcinogenic foods. Meat products. Processed meat such as bacon, sausages, hams, and other cold meats are modified to improve their taste and extend their shelf life. The main processing methods are smoking, curing, and adding salt and preservatives. The World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer has announced that consuming processed meat is carcinogenic to humans. 22 experts from 10 countries analyzed over 800 studies. The conclusion is very pessimistic, eating 50 grams of processed meat each day increases the risk of colon cancer by 18%. This is the equivalent of about four slices of bacon or one sausage. During the processing of meat, toxic chemical compounds are formed, including N-nitroso compounds and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Microwave Popcorn Popcorn advocates should be aware of the negative health effects of this microwave-prepared product. When corn kernels are processed, the chemicals in the packaging break down to form a dangerous compound called perfluoroctanoic acid. PFOA is a carcinogen, is toxic to the liver and the immune system, and negatively affects thyroid hormones by altering their levels. This chemical is associated with an increased risk of certain cancers, including liver, bladder, kidney, and prostate cancer. Popcorn can be a healthy snack if prepared traditionally. The grains that open when exposed to high temperatures are low in calories and high in fiber. GMO products. GMOs, genetically modified food products, are created by implanting a foreign DNA chain into them. This way, farmers get the desired characteristics of the product. For example, tomatoes are modified to increase shelf life and pest resistance, and some protein genes added to zucchini protect them from viruses. Research on GMO foods has not yet yielded clear answers, but they suggest that eating them increases the risk of cancer, the possibility of liver and kidney damage, and the development of serious disorders. Hormonal. Preserved products with high levels of salt can have negative effects on the digestive system. The strong brine used in pickling contains nitrates, which can be converted into nitrites and oxides by intestinal bacteria, leading to the formation of nitrosamines. These carcinogenic compounds have been linked to the development of stomach cancer. It is important to be mindful of the amount of salt used when making your pickling marinades to ensure that you are not consuming harmful levels of nitrates. To minimize the risk of stomach damage and cancer, it may be best to limit your consumption of pickled products or seek out alternative preservation methods that do not rely on high levels of salt. Potato chips. These very popular snacks are cheap, tasty, and very convenient to eat. However, they usually contain artificial additives, flavor enhancers, and numerous preservatives. They are very salty, and as a result, high sodium levels can increase blood pressure in many people. In addition, 
Potato chips contain trans fats, which raise cholesterol, and calories, which make you overweight. Research commissioned by the American Cancer Society and the European Food Safety Authority shows that acrylamide, made in the process of making potato chips in at very high temperatures, is a carcinogen. Animal studies show that acrylamide can damage DNA and cause certain types of cancer. Natural dried apple or banana chips will be a healthy alternative to potato chips. Hardened fats. During the hardening process, unsaturated fats turn into saturated ones. Thanks to this process, semi-solid fats are formed, the shelf life of which is extended. The financial benefits to producers are enormous, but the health risks are very high as trans fats are not safe to eat. They raise blood cholesterol levels as well as the risk of atherosclerosis. They can be destructive to the body, generating free radicals, which increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Hardened fat products include margarine, vegetable oils, and many ready-made bakery products. Farmed fish. It is popular to say that eating marine fish is healthy because they contain omega-3 fatty acids. It is certainly worth eating those that feed on plankton and smaller fish. Fish from breeding farms are not as high in omega-3 fatty acids as they are usually fed with fodder containing antibiotics and contain harmful dioxins and heavy metals in their meat. Synthetic pigments are often added to the feed that is fed to salmon to give the meat the pink color that is typical of salmon living in the wild. Unwashed fruits and vegetables. Dirty fruit and vegetables are usually contaminated with pesticides. Research conducted in Canada suggests a link between pesticides and cancers such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, multiple myeloma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and cancer of the prostate, testes, pancreas, lungs, and certain skin cancers. Children who regularly eat unwashed fruit and vegetables are at potential risk of developing leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Refined white sugar. Excessive consumption of sugar weakens the immune system, disturbs the body's mineral balance, and can also cause hyperactivity, fatigue, weight gain, depression, and arthritis. With a weakened immune system, the risk of developing cancer increases. Sugars provide the body with harmful intestinal yeast, toxic bacteria, and fungi. Although our brain requires glucose to function normally, scientists say sugar is also a breeding ground for cancer. Particularly harmful products are white sugar and high fructose corn syrup. The healthier solution is to replace processed sugar with natural sugars. Processed white flour. Almost everyone knows that frequent consumption of white flour products leads to weight gain. The processing of the beans causes a loss of nutrients and lowers the fiber content, which can lead to a variety of digestive problems such as constipation. Chemically processed aloxin is a toxic component that causes diabetes. Processed white flour has a high glycemic index which raises blood sugar quickly. Cancer cells mainly feed on sugars in the bloodstream. Therefore, avoid the refined carbohydrates contained in white flour and white sugar as they can contribute to the development of cancer. The alternatives are whole grains, bread, cereals, pasta, cookies, and crackers. Artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are commonly used as sugar substitutes in weight loss diets. Their supporters argue that sweeteners regulate blood sugar levels in diabetes. Recent research suggests that artificial sweeteners not only do not help you lose weight but promote weight gain. Aspartame, which is a peptide ester more than 200 times sweeter than sucrose while having almost zero calories and only sugars, actually worsen insulin sensitivity more than sugar. Artificial sweeteners increase the body's demand for something sweet. Research has shown that consuming aspartame is associated with migraine headaches, may affect mood and energy, and increase the risk of brain tumors. Alcohol. Drinking alcohol is associated with the risk of developing many types of cancer, including cancer of the breast, colon and rectum, esophagus, larynx, liver, mouth, and throat. This risk is increased when alcohol is consumed in conjunction with smoking. Alcohol abuse is also associated with many nutritional deficiencies. In our bodies, alcohol is converted into a toxic carcinogenic substance called acetaldehyde. 
The International Agency for Research on Cancer links alcohol abuse with a significant risk of developing cancer, although occasional consumption can be beneficial to health by reducing the risk of heart disease. Carbonated drinks. Carbonated drinks have no nutritional value, but contain large amounts of phosphate and a huge amount of white sugar and chemicals. They can contribute to weight gain and, in extreme cases, obesity. Carbonated drinks contain artificial flavors, colors, and sweeteners, the ingredients of which are carcinogens. If we find saccharin or aspartame on the drink's label, we must be aware of the risk of a brain tumor, which is confirmed by animal studies. In addition, carbonated drinks packed in aluminum cans can negatively affect the weakened digestive tract and accelerate the development of Alzheimer's disease by increasing the level of aluminum in brain tissues. Canned tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes support the body in fighting infections and effectively help in cancer treatment, while canned tomatoes hurt our health. Mainly because in contact with canned tomatoes, bisphenol A, BPA, is released, which is considered a harmful, even carcinogenic substance. If canned tomatoes are peeled, the risk is even greater as the fruit is sprayed before processing and the peel is thin and absorbent, so pesticides are not easy to remove. Healthy food is not enough. Healthy, natural, and organic food, preferably grown locally and eaten immediately after purchase, has long-term benefits for our environment and the proper functioning of the body. While proper nutrition is very important, we should never forget that other factors can also contribute to the development of the disease. We cannot underestimate environmental, psychological, social, and emotional factors. Regular exercise definitely improves posture and gives energy to life, as well as supports the immune system. Stress management, relaxation, and a healthy immune system are also essential in preventing cancer. It is important to note that the link between food and cancer is complex and involves multiple factors. However, by making informed choices about what we eat, we can reduce our risk of developing cancer. Some steps that can be taken include eating a balanced diet that is high in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, limiting the consumption of red and processed meats, and avoiding high-fat foods and sugary drinks. By making these changes to our diet, we can take an important step in reducing our risk of developing cancer.